It is Greg Milby, Kentucky's Heartland.com, powering the Heartland. Welcome in. And with me today is my friend, Mayor Jeff Gregory, the mayor of Elizabethtown. And uh, today is the exact reason why we created Kentucky's Heartland and Kentucky's Heartland.com is uh, to share stories in the community and actually uh, share information that's going on and be very timely. And I don't know how much more timely we could be than uh, to talk about uh, some property purchase mm -hmm. that uh, the city uh, uh, had last night at the council meeting. But uh, there was a lot of rumors, a lot of a lot of people saying this, a lot of people saying that. So we decided to, to bring uh, uh, the guy, the mayor of Elizabethtown. Uh, that would be you. And that's why the graphic says the mayor of Elizabethtown. And, uh, and uh, you're not Bart Levins. But uh, anyway, there's me the community storyteller. So I'm not going to tell the story. I'm going to ask the questions. So last night you guys uh, purchased the Cobbler's Cafe property. We did. Okay. So what can you tell us about that? I know there was some talk that this was done uh, behind closed doors, but go ahead and and share the information on uh, how that procedure and how that how that happens. Well, I'll start off by telling you that I do appreciate uh, you having me on, and this is a great tool, and it's uh, wonderful to be able to get out and talk to our community so quick, especially through the technology that we have now. But uh, to, to go further, what we did last night is uh, nothing out of the ordinary that they haven't done for uh, years with city government. Uh, part of the downtown revitalization process, all the studies that we have had done here in Elizabethtown specifically, and also everything that you read uh, on studies done throughout the country will tell you that it's in the city government's best interest to control inventory uh, in downtown revitalization. So what we do from time to time is uh, we look and we see what kind of properties are available downtown, what they're getting used for, uh, if there's uh, going to be a change of tenant or if they're going to come up for sale. And uh, we were alerted uh, a couple months ago, I believe, about the possibility that uh, 125 East Dixie, which everyone knows is the Cobbler's Cafe, was coming available for sale or had been available for sale. So as the mayor and, and council, we spoke uh, at great length uh, several different times uh, about purchasing said property. And so uh, last night, uh, we had spoken about it beforehand several times. Last night, we went into closed session to make sure that it was something that everybody was comfortable with because you go into closed session uh, Greg to talk about real estate transactions because it protects the city when you do that because mm -hmm. if everybody knows that the city's hot on a property or is interested in a property at times you know that that brings other players into the picture and so to protect our interest you know with with uh, property transfers or property uh, a talk we go into closed session there's a couple other things that you do it for too personnel matters and different things like that to to protect to protect people's uh, information we go into closed session and we do decide that we're going to purchase the property there at 125 East, East Dixie, which is a cobbler's cafe. And uh, we come out of closed session, open the meeting back up, uh, make a motion to read the ordinance that we have prepared to purchase the property. We read the ordinance and uh, everybody voted yes that was in attendance for the quorum last night for the council. And uh, this morning we closed on the property. So now we're the new owners of uh, the cobbler's cafe building. All right. So going forward, uh, what does that mean? First question I got was our, our uh, there. Well, the first statement I got was they're tearing the building down. Uh, can, can you elaborate on that? What's going to happen to the property? As we speak right now, we have no plans uh, to alter the property, to tear the building down or uh, anything that it pertains to that. Uh, obviously, we thought it was a good property to purchase because it sits adjacent to a city parking lot that we currently own. So we're adding to that property. We, you know, anytime you can uh, tag property together, it's always a good thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also sits adjacent to the Herb Jones property that uh, hopefully sometime somebody will buy and uh, we'll have some development down there and uh, we'll have a seat at the table if, if we want to sit and talk because we own property that's adjacent to it. So for the city of Elizabethtown and the city council and myself, after we talked, we just thought it would be a, a good move and uh, something that uh, would give us the ability to be in talks if uh, any further development happened down there. And, you know, we've also bought another building uh, that if, if we find another purpose for, we, we can use it in another manner. So no harm, no foul. It's, it's no different than uh, the city purchasing the Newberry building that has been torn down and is now back under construction is going to be uh, lots of great new things. It's no different than uh, where the Wicked Eye Woman is. The city owned that building at one time and uh, sold it and they, it became a great restaurant. So it, it's nothing tricky or, or shady mm -hmm. or anything else that uh, may have been implied. We're just uh, trying to look out for the city's interest, uh, keep control of our inventory and try to do great things and continue to revitalize downtown. So uh, the property, let me get this straight, was for sale 
already. It was already listed before you guys That's purchased. correct. It's been for sale off and on for uh, uh, quite a bit of time is my understanding. Okay, so you guys, so Cobbler's Cafe, I guess the owners now that the restaurant will be closing. Yes. Okay, and then so you guys have no plans for the property as of right now. It's just going to kind of set there and going to be, you're going to utilize the the, the limited parking that there, you have there. That's correct. But, and, and, and go forward from there. You know, I, I saw a lot of talk on uh, social media last night about that becoming another parking lot. But I think anybody that goes down there and sees how uh, small a, a piece of property that is or mm-hmm. how thin that building is, I don't know how much more parking you're going to get out of that. So uh, I, I don't know that we're talking about tearing it down and making a parking lot there. It was just in a key location that we thought uh, – was good because we own the property beside it. And also if there any further development begins because of the Jones property, then uh, we have a, a small seat at the table to maybe be able to get in on that conversation. So there are, there are no plans to build a two to three story parking garage uh, right in the heart of downtown? Not not at this time, no. Okay. We're, we're not talking about parking garages right now. Okay, so the par- property is an investment? It's an investment. And and we'll, we'll sit there and you'll be able to utilize the parking that's there. Sure. But it, it'll, it'll be there and I'm sure will be maintained and taken care of to be able to use maybe at a later date. That's correct. And we'll see what the future holds. All right. Good deal. Well, I appreciate you uh, coming right down the road and talking with us about it and kind of sharing that out. Anything else you want to share about uh, that at all? No, I don't think so. I think right. we covered, we kind of it, covered but, it all. But I do really appreciate the opportunity to come in and uh, try to clear some minds and some, straighten some things out. And this is a, a great tool, and I look forward to being on with you in the future. Good deal. Uh, I've always said my idea is to be inter, Interstate 65. I don't want to be as big as I-65. I want to be northbound, southbound. I want to be in the median. I, I, I just want to get the information out there and let people uh, have all of the information they need. I've known you for years, and before this is over, I'm afraid you're going to be nationwide. Uh, you, you think so? It, it, does that mean I'm going to be in prison or, or you think I'm going to be successful? Um, okay. We'll, we'll see. We'll it's kind of like that property we bought. We never know. <laughs> there you go. Mayor Jeff Gregory. It's Greg Milby here, community storyteller. This is Kentucky's Heartland.